hey friends in this section i will just explain you what is insulation resistance in very simple words and by a very simple presentation graph no insulation is basically an ideal insulation hence there will be always be some leakage current from the insulation to ground when voltage is applied means uh, in our studies we are considering in all our circuits that, that we are doing calculations and in books that we have considered insulation as always a uh, ideal insulation means the ideal insulation is insulation which will not permit any micro even uh, milliamps of current through the insulation means the current through the insulation ideally will be zero that is considered in our circuits but which is not practically uh, the case so here I have shown uh, basically a cable. Uh, the cable is, uh, is shown here. This is black color is the cable insulation. And you can see the conductor uh, is shown by red color. So this is basically the conductor. And uh, when we apply the current, we are this is our testing kit. One side we have grounded. Other side we are connecting it to the uh, our cable uh, conductor both ends of conductors are isolated this is the requirement and then we apply the voltage and then we apply the voltage then you can see some leakage current will be flowing through this insulation to ground and from the ground it will come back to the test kit so uh, we can say that the amount of the current flow through the insulation depend upon the resistance of insulation and the current that flows through the the resistance is called as a leakage current so let's now go to this picture so when the voltage is applied so in that case you will see that uh, some current is flowing from this uh, testing equipment and it will go to the earth and back to the test equipment negative terminal so this is negative this is positive terminal and there will be some current and this current will be called as a leakage current so the leakage current is also formed by four different currents that we will uh, see at later stage but this will be the path and you can see here uh, this uh, resistance is Basically, if it is more, then the leakage current will be less, and the resistance is less, the leakage current will be more. This resistance is basically called as insulation resistance. The leakage current is always a uh, very small value, like milli or a range between milli and micro ohms, and that's why normal emitters cannot read it. And we need a uh, basically a equipment which has a higher range. So this is how the insulation resistance is, is working and the IE resistance, uh, insulation resistance are, is also, you can see, can be calculated by very simple applied voltage divided by the leakage current. Also, the Ohm's law is used to calculate the resistance. So, this is basically the concept. Thank you very much.